Nigeria's unemployment rate for the first quarter of 2023 has been pegged at 4.1% against the 5.3% recorded in the fourth quarter of 2022. The figure is part of the labor data for the fourth quarter 2022 and first quarter 2023, released by the Bureau to Newsmen in Abuja. Speaking at the occasion, the Minister of Budget and Economic Planning, Senator Abubakar Bagudu, a shot of efforts by the present administration to tackle the unemployment challenges in the country. He said the federal government's policy direction is tailored towards unlocking the potentials embedded in Nigerians for national growth and development. We will, beginning from the 2024 budget season, use this data more practically. And I believe that uh, the, all the partners who help will help us in, in the Ministry of National Planning and other members of the economic team in ensuring that this inform our decision, particularly in our haste and urgency to mobilize as much Nigerians as possible so that we can uh, get people more productive and increase productivity for employment in the economy. Earlier, the Statistician General and Chief Executive Officer of the NBS, Adeyemi Adeniron, analyzed the details of the nation's unemployment profile as captured in the latest labor survey. Even bringing the figure down uh, with this new concept, the unemployment in Nigeria among our neighbors is still very high. Unemployment among those with post-secondary school, these are the people that always go for uh, white collar jobs. And they are having the highest unemployment rate of 9.1 percent in the fourth quarter of 2022. You can see that this figure almost doubled the headline unemployment, that is 5.3, for quarter that we are highlighting. He further gave a breakdown on how the figure for both quarters was processed. The results indicate that we have scarcity of wage employment, which is everybody wants to be. We must be working either with the government or in the company. But it's very scarce in Nigeria. During the reference quarter, only 13.4% in quarter four were in wage employment, and 11.8% in quarter one of 2023 are engaged in uh, salary or income earning job. A lot more, a lot more of Nigerians operate their own business or engage in agriculture. This figure was 73.1%. You can see the, point, the proportion of people that are self-employed among the workers. The government is encouraging people to be self-employed. That's why they set up so many uh, activities that um, of skill, or uh, vocational skill for people so that they can self-employed. Ultimately, the path to poverty reduction comes from job creation, from each Nigerian being able to realize the full value and returns from their greatest asset, which is their own labor. So labor force surveys, of all the different types of data you can collect, labor force surveys are particularly important because it tells you how the labor market is doing, how Nigerians with aspirations for employment opportunities, how are they doing? Work statistics provides very good way in which statistics in labor force presents itself and then they provide as well the information for which formulation of government policies as well as its implementation and monitoring are created as well as human resource development planning. Additional details from the NBS indicates that the data collection for the revised Nigerian Labor Force Survey was conducted with a sample of 35,520 households nationwide, with national-level results produced quarterly, while state-level results were arrived at the end of a complete year. CNA News.